reminding everybody who's here, not that you need it, but I'm going to do it anyway, uh, just how important and how relevant always the work uh, that the society does is. Uh, I know because before I was county executive, I spent a lot of my time uh, working with a foundation, a lot of nonprofits, and one board I was particularly privileged to sit on was uh, Physicians for Human Rights. And in other rooms, uh, I uh, would have to explain, other rooms than this, uh, why you'd have a group called Physicians for Human Rights. I don't think anybody here is unclear on why you have a group called Physicians for Human Rights. The board was comprised of uh, the Dean of Harvard Medical, the Dean of Johns Hopkins, the editor of Lancet, the editor of New England Journal, and a very credible group. And all they did uh, was make sure that policy decisions based on anything to do, anything to do with medical science were based on fact. And people understood the gravity, calibrated uh, 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 the issues that they uh, uh, were making policy decisions on, and they had an enormous impact, enormous impact, even on things that people don't normally associate with uh, medicine. They received the Nobel Peace Prize uh, for uh, their work on the landmine uh, treaty ban. Uh, since then, um, I was thinking about uh, just this past year. I'm at my table with, uh, as you heard before, uh, uh, Hector Colon, who's the uh, Director of Health and Human Services, and as, as importantly, um, has led some extraordinary change at the Behavioral Health Division. Uh, a lot of people don't get excited about mental health. It's not a subject we talk a lot about. We should. Um, it's uh, uh, a mark of a diminished society when we are indifferent uh, to the suffering of anybody. Um, it is not a surprise to anybody in this room that Milwaukee was decades behind the rest of the country uh, on the way we administered the provision of mental health. We weren't doing a good job and nobody gets to say they didn't know. There was study after study after study. Uh, national studies. In fact, if you read them, it starts becoming amusing because the last three studies refer to the previous seven saying, you know, you actually, we're, we're kind of saying what everybody else here has said, and we're starting to wonder why things aren't happening. Uh, and one thing uh, that was an incredible highlight uh, for me last year in hyperpartisan Wisconsin in 2014, there was one bill in the state that passed 122 to 1. That's every Republican and every Democrat save one. Every Republican and every Democrat to reform the governance at the behavioral health complex. And what does that mean? For the first time in decades, emergency room visits are down 30%. Involuntary detentions are down 20%. Psychiatric admissions are down 50%. Uh, we closed Hilltop, and just the other day, Hector and I sat in a room celebrating, celebrating the closure of Hilltop with some people who had not been outside of that building in over 20 years. And they had joy and dignity in their lives. And I want to make something really clear. I worked really hard. Hector worked really hard. A lot of people worked really hard to get this done. But it wouldn't have mattered if just I went to Madison or just Hector went to Madison. What mattered was a lot of physicians went to Madison. A lot of people really aren't even directly connected to BHD, but are connected to humanity and the fact, the certainty, that if we are indifferent to issues like this, this is a diminished society. Um, so more people should be here tonight, but I'm grateful for everybody who is, and I'm crystal clear, we don't get that 122 to one. We don't get that reduction in ER visits, and we don't get the profound difference that's been made in people's lives we don't without your help. I'm clear on that, so thank you. When I first learned about the society, you know, when you find a group, an organization uh, in America that's 168 years old, uh, you know it's kind of a slim crowd. I grew up in Boston where there's a few more of them. Um, but when I heard there was a society here, and it was a pretty old one, I thought, okay, well, you know, sort of post-Civil War, I mean, that's sort of the birthplace of uh, the research university, Johns Hopkins being the first. We're coming out of the Civil War, which prompted a lot of investigations into medical science. Uh, but when I heard, oh, no, 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 it was way, way older than that. 1846, good grief. 1846, wow, nice, nice work society. Uh, <laughs> when uh, I heard about who I get to uh, present the award to, I'm kind of excited about this. So 
The first award is the Dr. Erastus B. Walcott Award for Distinguished Service. And for those of you who don't know, Dr. Walcott uh, was a founder of the Medical Society of Milwaukee County, a celebrated military officer and physician who served as the Surgeon General of Wisconsin uh, in the Civil War. And there's a statue of Dr. Walcott uh, in Lake Park today. I know it's about 2,000 feet from my house. Uh, and actually, uh, in preparation for this, Julie, um, not knowing that you were going to get this award, but somehow, you know, I, I was cued in. Uh, I also, I mentioned I was on this human rights board. I support a lot of environmental groups, a lot of parks groups. I actually paid for the cleaning of the Erastus Walcott statue, and I used lasers to do it, um, which I don't know if there's something there, but it's just an interesting story. So it's shiny, uh, appropriately, as it should be for somebody who's got such an uh, august career and had made enormous advances in the field, was respected humanitarian citizen, and uh, obviously, if uh, he presided over this organization, a valued member of society. Uh, today, tonight, we recognize an individual who carries on Dr. Walcott's legacy. Uh, she also is eminent in the profession. She also is a lover of humanity, uh, and she embodies a true healer's commitment to serve. Uh, and that person is Dr. Julie Schuler. And Dr. Schuler uh, is the Executive Vice President uh, and Vice President of Clinical Affairs for the 16th Street Community Health Center. And I'm I'm going to add some more detail too. I have worked with hundreds of nonprofits in Milwaukee, and it's been a privilege. But anybody who does that, and my foundation will, will tell you, there's a handful of nonprofits that do extraordinarily professional work at scale, high quality, uh, and with fiscal responsibility, compassion for what they do, and they know why. And people walk in the building uh, and they're passionate about what they do, and 16th Street on everybody's list is one of those. Uh, and here at the center, uh, Julie sees patients as well as being involved in the management of the clinic, supervising more than 150 medical providers and staff, and making a huge impact on many. Uh, Dr. Schuler plays a leadership role in several national and local organizations, including the clinical committees of the National Association of Community Health Centers uh, and the Milwaukee Healthcare Partnership, the Board of Directors of the Wisconsin Medical Society, Wisconsin Primary Healthcare Association, the Wisconsin Collaborative on Healthcare Quality. She also serves as the chairperson of the Milwaukee Medical Society Council on Access. Dr. Shula carries on the legacy of the Medical Society's founder through her steadfast commitment to the champion the need to champion the needs of the underserved. Uh, also, I wanted to uh, just add a few more things we have uh, in common, Julie. Um, I was on the uh, medical college board uh, for some time. Uh, I've been involved with many of the nonprofits uh, you have, uh, though I haven't made nearly the impact you have. Uh, Facebook tells me that we have free friends in common. Um, and as we all know, Facebook is never wrong. Um, the Farleys say hi. They also say happy birthday. Um, I, uh, as county exec, and with the privilege of being in public office, I'm always happy and proud to celebrate people who do good work and people who make a difference. Uh, it's uh, something I don't take for granted. I never have. Uh, Julie, you do. You have and you will, and my world, our world, is a better place for it. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Dr. Erastus B. Walcott Award for Distinguished Service, Julie Schuler. I am honored and humbled by it. Um, I want to accept the award on behalf of 16th Street staff and patients. The staff, because they come to work every day and work hard and really are the ones that make the difference in our patients' lives. And I can tell you it feels really good to go home at night and know that you've had such an impact on people's lives. And so I'm very grateful and blessed to be at 16th Street. But our patients as well, because... I truly believe that all people deserve quality health care. It doesn't matter their race, what language they speak, what country they came, come from. Everybody deserves quality health care. And so on behalf of the patients, this is important for, um, for taking care of them. Um, I'd also want to acknowledge the work done by the other community health centers in Milwaukee, and we have some representatives here. 
Tonight, from some of the other community health centers, there's three others. There's Progressive Community Health Center, Outreach Community Health Center, and Milwaukee Health Services. So they share in the work that we do, and they do great work as well. Um, yes, thank you. In receiving the Dr. Wolcott Award, I am really um, honored to be part of uh, the legendary history of the Medical Society. Uh, I know that he was a founder of the Society and um, being able to carry on that legacy, that tradition, um, and the profession of of um, medicine is uh, extremely important and um, I'm very grateful to be able to do that. I think what has been really important to me over the past couple of years is, sh is showing again the pride of being a doctor and I am proud to be a doctor, proud to be here with all of you doctors as well. So I think that's um, one of the things that the Medical Society really needs to do. I, doctors have um, gone through a lot of change and I think it's been hard, but I think uh, getting back that pride of being a doctor again. Um, and then finally, I just want to say, uh, as president over the past year, very, very excited about all the work that we've done over the past year. Hopefully you all like the logo and the new brand, and you'll notice I'm wearing the color of the new brands. <laughs> um, uh, but powered by physicians, compelled by community, we really mean it, and we're uh, very excited about what's to come. Please stay tuned and watch, watch all the fun and exciting things that uh, we do over the upcoming years. Thank you for being here and thank you for the